All right, YouTube, I am going to give a quick demo of the Arduino remote control that I made for the Prochrono Chronograph, um, the Prochrono Digital. Uh, I just used an Arduino Uno uh, development board. It's actually a $15 Chinese knockoff of an Arduino, but it works exactly the same. Uh, it's the Rev3 board, and to that I have a... Uh, Seed Studio screw shield that um, basically plugs into the board, lets me screw wires in. You can see the connections there, the terminals. Um, this makes it a little easier to connect wires up to the Arduino board. I'm going to plug that in here, like so. In order to power the Arduino, I have a 9 volt battery. That is hooked up to a DC barrel connector, just a standard uh, connector like you get on a, uh, a radio or something that uh, plugs into the wall. Um, you, you probably have a wall wart around your house that uses this connector. And I just found an old one, cut the connector off of it. And the connector plugs right into the uh, Arduino's power port. Um, it's just a 9 volt battery that I used to power the thing up. I made that uh, power cable in a couple of minutes just with stuff I had laying around the house. In order to connect the Arduino to the Prochrono, uh, it's, the connection is just a standard um, 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. It's the, um, the actually the same jack that's on the Prochrono itself. The cable that I use is a 25 um, it's a 25 foot stereo audio cable uh, Prochrono actually sells this when you buy their computer interface kit this cable comes with it uh, so I just designed the Arduino to use the same cable since that's what I had and chances are there's a lot of folks that have the Prochrono that also have that cable now the way this works is it uh, talks uh, through the serial port of the Prochrono. Uh, Arduino has a serial interface and I just coded that in order to uh, get the Prochrono to talk to it. Let me zoom in here on the Prochrono screen a little bit so you can see what's going on. The five wires sticking out of the top represent buttons. Um, they would in real life be buttons except that this is a prototype and I didn't have a chance to wire up buttons yet. So when I ground these wires out it actually acts as a button press. So the first thing I'm going to do is use the, uh, the string change um, button so to speak. If I touch that the ground, you'll see that it's changing through the strings on the uh, Prochrono. I'm going to find a string that has some shots on it. Uh, string 2 does, okay. The um, delete shot button, if you will, is this one. When I touch that, whoops, there we go, got stuck. Um, shot 2, 3, I have to hold it down for a second. Uh, just to, so the button press doesn't accidentally, an accidental tap doesn't delete a shot. I kind of made you have to hold that down a little bit longer. That's all changeable in the code. Uh, there's the delete string, which is, let's see, pin number 8, also known as the white wire. I touch that down, it should delete everything on string 2, just to take it down to zero shots. There you go. And... I need to get to a different string that still has some shots on it. Alright, string 3 does. There is the redisplay button, which is this one. That just shows you the shot that you're on and the velocity. And there's also a review button, which will be this one. And that'll take you backwards through the shots that you've made. The same as pushing the review button on the chronograph. So, 
Uh, I'm sure there's probably still a few bugs to work out of this thing. Um, this is just brand new code. It's uh, my first Arduino project, and um, you know I decided to do something I could use. You know when it warms up a little bit, and I get out to the range. So that's pretty much all there is to it. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, the plans are on the internet. I put up my schematic as well as um, all the pinouts, all that kind of thing that I used, and the Arduino sketch, the code. Um, I posted them to the Brian Enos forums. Uh, that's on uh, Brian Enos, B-R-I-A-N-E-N-O-S dot com. If you go into the forums, there's a, uh, I think it's under firearms, there's a um, chronograph reloading forum. It's in there. Uh, I'm also going to, I'll post a link to it uh, down below as well. And uh, I guess that's pretty much it. So, thanks for watching.